Okay, I've got another one of Lou Malie's games for you. It's been a while, but uh, Lou Malie is back in action and destroying people. Uh, we have this international master from Spain. Uh, he's rated at 2400, so near Grand Master, playing against Lou Malie. She's just rated 2226 now, so she's a solid master. Uh, and uh, this is uh, this is going to be the French defense, and we'll see why you don't play the French defense against Lou Malie. She played this game at 96.5% accuracy, and her opponent just 85.3, which is usually pretty good. And uh, Lou Malie played at about 2900 in this game, as far as her her uh, playing strengths. Okay, so we have uh, pawn to e4, pawn to e6, so the French defense. And we have d4 by Lou Malie, d5, as you often see in the French. This becomes the Steinitz variation of the French defense, uh, knight to c3. Uh, oftentimes these days people are also playing knight to d2, uh, I think, uh, in order to maybe not have them capture. Um, but anyway, we'll continue with what happened on the board. We have knight f6 by the international master from Spain, and Lou Malie attacks that knight, kicking it forcing it to move again, kind of an awkward square to go, but you know, this is book, uh, this, this is stuff that's been played many, many times, known theory. We have pawn to f4 by Lou Malie, just expanding in the center, really clamping down on center control. We have pawn to c5, as you often see in the French or you know, uh, other openings as well, just trying to whittle away at white's commanding center. We have knight to f3, defending the pawn, and now knight to c6 by the international master from Spain. Lou Malie develops her bishop to e3, and we are still in a book opening here. And now we have pawn to a6 by black. Lou Malie plays pawn to h4. Uh, you can see that the computer actually suggests pawn to a3 as being the better move here. It's a more common move played. We'll see why Lou Malie plays this move a little bit later. But you might guess that... Uh, you know, black is probably going to castle to the king side. This, so this is kind of a preemptive attack. And as black, you're probably going to guess that white is going to probably do queen side castling. And you'd be right. We have pawn captures on d4 by the international master from Spain. Lou Malie picks it back up with knight captures on d4. Best possible move in the position. And now we have bishop to c5 by black. It is saying that it would be better to put the queen on b6 instead, just uh, adding more pressure in, in more locations, so also a targeting that pawn. So this is being called an inaccuracy by black, the first one. And now we have queen to d2, best possible move by white. And as I said, yeah, there she's setting up to be ready to castle queenside, although that won't help happen for a while now. And we have queen now to c7 by black, and Lou Malie advances that pawn once again. As I said, preempting a strike over there. We know that black probably is going to castle to the king side, so just getting ready for that. It does say it would have been better perhaps to castle, but um, a pawn to h5 is also an excellent move. We have knight captures on d4 by black, best possible move. Lumalyi captures back with bishop captures d4, and now we have pawn to b5 by black. You can see a uh, best possible move is actually just to advance the h6 pawn, but this move is okay. Um, as it goes. Lou Malie plays pawn to a3, and uh, the computer says this is an excellent move, pawn to a3, but also maybe pawn to h6 would be a way to go. We have bishop now to b7, best possible move by black, and Lou Malie brings her rook to h3. Again, an excellent move in the position, suggesting that maybe castling would be a good way to go as well. We have castles by black, and as expected, we expected this castle, and that's part of the reason why this pawn is uh, so, val so valuable up here. We have knight back to e2 by Lou Malie. This is being called an inaccuracy, an inaccuracy by Lou Malie, uh, one of the few in uh, this game. As she, like I said, she played 96.5% here. We have pawn to g or pawn to f6 by black. Not the best way to play here. It being called a mistake, actually. Better just to play pawn to h6. Keep that pawn out of there. Lou Malie now pins the bishop to the queen with rook to c3, so that bishop can't move or black would lose the queen, as you see there. Uh, so black moves his queen uh, to b6, again being called a mistake, saying better would just be to capture 
in the center. That would be a better way to play. Not what happened on the board. Lou Maillie actually sacrifices her rook for the bishop here. Uh, and this is the best possible move in the position. And uh, black doesn't capture back. Instead, playing pawn captures on e5. And this is an excellent move as things go in the situation. Although it might have been better to actually capture the, the rook. Anyway, we continue. We now have rook captures on d5. Best possible move, once again, by Lu Mao Yi. A discovered attack. So you can't just take the rook with the pawn or you lose your queen. And also attacking the knight. So uh, we have queen to uh, G or c6 by uh, black, which is an excellent move. Also capturing the bishop might have been a good way to go. Lu Mai grabs the knight on d7. This is the best possible move in the position. And now we have queen captures on d7 by black. Lu Mai picks up the e5 pawn, and she's now up two points. And this is an issue that a lot of my students um, have trouble with a lot of times, is, is uh, when you're up material, you'd like to trade. So Lu Mai is perfectly fine with queen takes queen. That would be just fine. You know, she would have to capture back with, with her king, but... Uh, you know, that's okay. She's up two points. She's winning. Uh, but Black doesn't want to trade uh, because he's down two points. And he would like to keep more pieces on the board so things can be more complicated. It does say the computer suggests just trading queens. But, you know, under perfect play, maybe uh, maybe White or Black's able to get a draw. But um, with humans, you, you want to keep, keep the queens on the board if you're the one that's down material. Lu Yi now sacrifices the H-pawn with pawn to H4, offering it up in trade, but uh, you know, uh, Black wants none of it. Plays rook A to D8. Lu Yi moves her queen to E3, best spot for her queen. And now we have pawn to G6 by Black. This is a great move. It also says pushing two would be a good way to go. Although either way, uh, Black is really totally lost at this point. It's really hard to defend this position. And Lu Yi now plays knight to g3. And we have queen to e7 by black. And Lu Yi now brings her knight to d3. Or not her knight. She brings her bishop to d3. This is the best possible move in the position. Look at these mean old bishops just carving themselves uh, some lines. Uh, just all, all of Lu Yi's pieces just swarming now. Black now plays queen to h4, attacking the knight and attacking the h6 pawn. Uh, Lu Yi ignores it, castling queenside, best possible move in the position. And now we have bishop captures on g2 by black. Lu Yi now attacks that bishop with rook to g1. We have queen to h3 defending the bishop, which is an excellent way to go in this position, although again, uh, black is totally lost. It does say that just moving the bishop out of dodge might be the better way to go. Uh, Lu Yi now plays bishop back to c3. Again, best possible move in the position, looking to uh, install her queen on e5. We have bishop back to d5 by black, and now Lu Yi does bring her queen to e5, uh, threatening checkmate on g7. And so rook to d7, protecting the g7 square, but Lu Yi goes ahead and plays the best possible move. Queen h8 check, and she gets to pick up a couple of pawns. Queen takes on h7 check, king to e8, and now queen takes g6 with check. The king then moves to d8, and now Lu, Lu Ma Yi advances her pawn to h7, uh, so threatening that a queen in the future. We have queen to h2, threatening the rook, but Lu Ma Yi just drops her knight back to e2, and everything is nicely defended, and uh, things are looking pretty bleak for black. We have king to c7 now by black, and Lu Mao Yi offers a free queen, or not a free queen. She offers her queen for a rook, but yeah, if the rook takes, then a new queen is born anyway, so you're essentially trading your rook for a pawn. Black doesn't want anything to do with that, so plays rook, uh, well, I should say rook d to d8, and now Lu Mao Yi plays bishop to a5 check. We have king to c8. This is the best move he can muster. But now just bishop captures on d8 and rook captures on d8 by black. And now Lu Yi captures the rook and uh, 
um, the, the Spanish international master does resign the game here. This is the end of the game. And pretty, uh, well, you probably can spot why he would do this, but uh, I'll point out that if the king captures the queen, which, you know, makes a lot of sense, then the rook just comes down with check, and, um, you know, the king's going to get out of check, and then uh, we can promote another queen for white. And after everything's said and done, the dust settles. It looks like, uh, yeah, black or white is just going to be up uh, a rook and a knight because there'll be another queen up there. And uh, yeah, bishop and queen versus bishop, queen, rook and knight. So, yeah. So Lou Maillie crushes in the French defense. So don't play the French de defense against this girl. She, she had a spectacular game also last year with the French defense in the same tournament. Anyway, uh, thank you for joining me for that. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, do check me out. Legendarychess.com um, is my website. I'm teaching a bunch of different chess classes, mostly for youth, but um, I'm happy to teach anybody that's interested in learning more about the game. So yeah, check the links in the description for my website, legendarychess.com. I'm doing uh, currently doing group chess classes, just $99 uh, for all of September. So you get all of September for just $99 and that's up to five classes. And you can, there's also meetings where you can meet up with some of my other students and play live chess with each other. Anyway, thank you for joining me for that. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.